Now we're going to go over how to change your theme of your Gboard keyboard. Um, so if you want to change the color and kind of how it looks, we can go ahead and do that. So first we need to get to the settings. So pull up the keyboard uh, anywhere on your phone, doesn't matter. And you want to tap and hold on the comma button here. And then you'll see the settings gear pops up and you can just let go. And from here now we're in the settings menu for Gboard and we're going to just tap on themes. Once here you can see you have a bunch of different options. We have my themes which we'll go over in a minute here. You have colors, landscapes you can download from Google and different options here. So if we just take a look at the colors we can go ahead and if we just tap on any color you can see it's going to give us a preview of what the keyboard's going to look like. And the other thing you can apply to any of these is the key borders. And if we tap on that, you see we now have borders around each key. Um, I usually leave key borders on just because it's visually um, easier for me when typing. So we'll click apply. And so we can see we've now selected that color. And again, you can go ahead and do this with any of the colors here or any of the landscapes or anything like that. Um, my themes at the top here, you can actually add a photo um, to your keyboard background if you want to. So I'll go over how to do that. So we'll go ahead and click that add button there. And you can pull up stuff from your drive, Google Photos, or anything that was saved on the phone would pop up here. So we're going to go to Google Photos to do this. So we'll tap on that. We'll click on Photos. We'll click a photo here. And then we'll go ahead and line it up how we want it. And click Next. And it'll show us what the keyboard's going to look like. And you can adjust the brightness of the background photo to whatever you may want it to be. So if we want it a little brighter, we can go ahead and do that. And we'll click Done. And again, we have options down here for the borders around the keys or not. Again, that's up to you. And we click Apply. Now, if we go back and look at our keyboard, you'll see this is what it now looks like. But again, we can go back into the settings and back into themes and change it. Your recent themes will show up at the top here under My Themes. So if you have a recent color you've picked, you can go ahead and select that. But that's how you go and change the theme of your keyboard for Gboard on Android. Hopefully that helps.